good morning from your MPHS TNT crew. I am Austin Lumen. And I am your host with the most, Nano. These are your announcements for Friday, April 29th. Please stand for the pledges to the American flag and the Texas flag, and please remain standing for a moment of silence. Now for the announcements. Seniors, attention all seniors who have signed up for project graduation. Your business donation letter is due back to me on Friday, May 6th, me as in Miss Rolf. You must return your letter back in even if you don't get a donation. If you have any questions, see Miss Rolf in room 224. Tiger Dolls managers. The Tiger Dolls are looking for a few good managers. Anyone interested in applying for this position should stop by Miss Wood's office in the Tiger Doll room and pick up a tryout packet. Candidates should have good grades, good work ethic, and will be willing to come early and stay late. If this sounds like you, stop by and talk to Ms. Woods. Deadline to turn application is May 2nd. Second. NTHS graduation cords will be ordered the week of May 2nd and are $15. Members must have all service hours before ordering. Come to room 417 to order and pay. Also, NTHS service hours are due by May 3rd. No exceptions. National Honor Society. Next week is a big week for us. Your report cards are due Monday, May 4th. Our final meeting of this year is Thursday, May 5th. And your hours for the year are due on Friday, May 6th. No exceptions. If you have any concerns, please stop by Miss Wilkins' room ASAP. Pictures. Prom pictures along with senior cap and gown photos are in. You may pick up your photos from Mr. Witten in room 401. Yearbook. The final day to order and ensure you will receive a 2015-2016 Mount Pleasant High School yearbook is Monday, May 2nd. This is also the final day to order any senior ads. After that date, no more spots will be reserved. For more information, see Mr. Wynn in room 401 and order online at www.balfour.com. Spring Show. The Tiger Dolls will present their Spring Show this Friday, April 29th and Saturday, April 30th, starting at 7 in the High School Auditorium. Tickets are $8 at the door. UIL. MPHS had several students compete in UIL academic regional competition this past weekend at Stephen F. Austin University. Daniel Hernandez placed fifth in math. Daniel Hernandez, Nayeli Fuentes, Jose Lira, David Barboza all placed second as a math team and advanced the state as the wild card team. That means the team has the highest second place team score in the state of Texas. Anayeli Rodriguez placed sixth in spelling. Anayeli Rodriguez, Anae Rodriguez, Carla Ochoa, and Reagan Ball all play second as a spelling team. They are in alternate for state competition as they have the second highest second place score in the state of Texas. Other competitors at UIL Regionals for MPISD are Nadiesca Oviedo in informative, informative speaking, Nancy Ibarra in Lincoln, Douglas DeBate, Reagan Davis in headline writing, and Carlos Barboza in calculator. Teacher and Staff Member of the Year. Congratulations to Ms. Jenkins and Ms. Rawlings for being named Teacher and Staff Members of the Year, respectively. TNT reporter Jocelyn Capers spoke to both ladies about receiving this special honor. It's Jocelyn Capers with the TNT crew and we're here with Ms. Jenkins. And we're going to ask her how does it feel to be named the Teacher of the Year? Well, I'm actually a very humble person, so I don't let things go to my head. Uh, it's an honor to be Teacher of the Year, but I also think there's numerous teachers at this high school who are very deserving to be Teacher of the Year. Um, I know some are more deserving than I am, and I'm just very grateful that I received the honor. And how long have you been working here, and what have you taught? Um, I've worked here for 29 years, and I have taught many different things over my 29 years. I started in Algebra One and Calculus. And then I've also taught uh, pre-calculus, that's what I'm teaching this year, dual credit pre-calculus and AP calculus. I have taught SAT math, I have taught um, teams math, 
which is old. I've taught tax math. Um, I think that's about all. And what do you like best about MPHS? My favorite things about the MPHS are the students. I get along very well with most of my kids, um, so I enjoy being around them. I also love my department. I have the best department around in the math department. We all work together really well, and we all get along excellently. Okay, that's it with Miss Jenkins. Thank you. Uh -huh, thank you. The show is on with the TNT crew, and we're here with Pam Rollins, and we're going to ask her some questions. Um, how does it feel to be named staff member of the year? I was very shocked and surprised, and I'm very honored. It, it just, it's a good feeling that uh, you get recognized by your, your co-workers, and it's just a wonderful feeling. And how long have you been working here? I've been with the district for 20 years, and I've been at the high school about 18. And what have you, what jobs have you had here? Uh, at the high school? Mm -hmm. I started out as an aide in the mall, and then I moved to the AP's office, and then to this office. And what is your favorite thing about Mount Pleasant High School? Just the, my co-workers and of course the students, which I don't deal a lot with students, but with the co-workers, everybody's really nice and you feel kind of like a family and cause of course you spend more time with them than you do your own family, but it's like a family. Sports. In sports, the Tiger baseball team will close out their season tonight at Texas High with JV starting at 4 and Barcy starting at 7. The girls softball team will play two of their playoff series tonight at Luciano University. If a third game is necessary, it will follow 30 minutes later. Congratulations to Brianna Castenda, Emily Brown, Alexa Nance, and Tadriana Wilkerson for advancing to the regional track meet to be held at UT Arlington this weekend. At the area meet, Brianna was first in the 3200 meters and second in the 1600. Emily was second in, in the 3200 and third in the 1600. Tejiana was fourth in the 200 meters and Alexia was second in the triple jump. Also at the area meet, Aslan Barrentos placed fifth in the 800 meters and Kiyama Howard placed sixth in the shot put. TNT reporter Chandler Curry spoke with members of the track team about advancing to the regionals. Thank you for your attention. Have, Have an awesome, awesome weekend. weekend. It's Chandler with TNT and I'm here with the Varsity Regional Track qualifiers. I'm Emily Brown. I'm Alexia Nate. I'm Tadriana Wilkerson. I'm Brianna Castaneda. All right, so how's this track season gone so far for each one of y'all? It's been good. Um, I was district champ in the mile and I was district champ for triple jump. <coughs> <coughs> I did my thing in the 200. You know? <laughs> I was district and area champ in the 3200. All right, so how do y'all expect to do at regionals? Well, the competition's going to be tough, but we're just going to try our best and hopefully do our best and everything personal best in jumping and running, so mm -hmm. just time-wise. All right, so what is the biggest challenge for each one of y'all in y'all's event? Um, I think just staying, like, focused mentally and just not psyching myself out and just trying my best and everything. All right, is that it? Yep. yep. All right, thank you.